Okay, today we're going to talk about the two biggest issues in fly fishing. The two biggest mistakes. And I have two words for you. Clinch and surges. I've been fishing with a number of people and I was fishing with one person in particular and they were fishing, fishing, fishing. Their fly was all wet. They kept saying, hey, Mike, the fish are coming up to the fly, but they're not taking it. And you know, the fish were all beat up. The fly was all beat up. It, it was time, you know. I tend to think of if I'm not catching a fish in five or 10 minutes, I switch flies. Uh, fish are like five-year-old kids in that you can mush the broccoli in any way you may want. If they're not going to eat broccoli, they're not going to eat broccoli. So the first two things you need to do is you need to be able to enjoy putting a new fly on. That sounds crazy, but you have to just tie those knots so without even thinking that Switching on a new fly is actually kind of a fun part of the experience versus fighting it. And I know I do that. I still do that in a bit in that I'll go, oh, well, I'll keep casting a few more times, you know, and, and even though the fish are coming up and looking at it and running away, I, may, maybe this next time it'll happen. Well, it's not going to happen. So you need to switch flies. So I have a couple of things I can show you today. The first one is the classic clinch knot. Um, I was told by a, hor a horse person that cinching is actually tightening things, so it really is a clinch knot. So uh, the uh, the classic way of doing it is, this is my, this is representing a hook, sticking the line through the hook, cradle the hook in your hand, and then you have both hands to then manipulate this tag end around and you go around your five times six times whatever and then eventually put it through that end one okay and i always i have a hard time with this thick thread here so let's pull this out a little bit farther so we're going to do this a few times and then we stick it through that end hoop this is just a single this is the the improved, which I don't think is improved, goes through here. But you'd never want to pull on the tag end. Once it's through, then you just pull on the line and it'll, I think, cinch down. But there you go. So that's your knot. Okay. And you just need to do that a million times and get some flies and do it with the super fine thread uh, so that you're getting good at it. Okay. There's a certain point where, you know, as you get older too, your eyes don't get as good as they used to be. And you know what? Then just use bigger flies. Or there's some flies that are actually tied with, um, uh, there, there's some big eye hooks. So even though they're small, they're a number 12 hook, they have a little bit bigger eye. So you can use a little bit bigger tippet, okay? But that's the basic struck, you know, that's the basic thing you wrap around couple times and then go through the hoop okay now the way I do it because I am even more lazy than any human being in the world I take my hook I stick it through the loop I hold the line in this hand through the crook of my fingers and I pinch the tip of the tag line you see how I'm pinching that tag line there so the fly is just hanging loose down here I'm gonna pull back a bit so you can see Okay, then I take my hemostats because you should have a pair of hemostats. If you don't, go play video games, okay? But you should have a pair of hemostats. I take the hemostats and see they're open, but I'm gonna just keep them closed. I push them down here. See how there's tension now? And I spin one, two, three, four, five. Then I reach up and grab that tag end I've been holding Pull down, usually the length of the hook. I don't need to, that's a long hook. And then pull the whole thing together and it makes a perfect cinch knot every time. Okay, 
Let's try that one more time just to show you. Uh, once you start tying your flies this way, uh, it, it won't be a big issue to do that. Because the, the hardest part of tying a cinch knot is getting, and you saw me actually have problems with it, when you tie it this way. Then you have to kind of find that little hole there and it has to be open and you got to be fiddle around with it. Okay, this way is way better. So have your hook, stick your line through the hook, grab the line with your right hand or left hand in my case, left hand, pinch it. See how it's pinched? This is important right here. You don't want to do it like that because that doesn't, that won't work. You want to grab it so there's a little bit hanging above. You take your hemostats, you go this, and you kind of keep pressure on it. I know some people do some, it doesn't work. You gotta push down. So it's, you gotta hold with both this part and with this part. I've hooked my table. Sometimes you catch a fish like this. There we go. So push down, one, two, three, four, five, six. Grab the tag end it through you're done then you just tight lick it and tighten it down okay and the shoe there you go okay that's your cinch net do that as you're watching the bachelorette or house hunters and I know you do don't don't lie uh, just sit in your in the lazy boy and just do this over and over again until you don't even think about it anymore. You barely are glancing down. You just kind of, as you're talking, you're just doing it. You're grabbing the thing, you're doing it. You do it over and over and over again until you can't even, you know, that you're not even thinking about it. That's the key. You catch, I'm telling you, you can catch more fish this way. Now, since you're changing flies all the time, the next thing you're going to need to do is be able to tie tip it onto your line. And uh, there's no easy way. I mean, you know, so I've got like, let's say a 3X, uh, a 3X leader and I've been chipping off the end, chipping off the end. Pretty soon it starts to get pretty big, okay? So I'm now at 2X land. Well, okay, I'm gonna have to tie on some more 3X. So here's my tippet is the blue, my line is the red. So there are two worms coming together and they lay on top of each other like that, okay? They're facing in opposite directions. That's the first step. Now, the next part is, is just to treat your line like you're going to just tie a regular overhand knot, okay? But you're going to dis almost disregard uh, your tippet. So I'm going to just treat my top line my leader just like a regular i'm just going to tie a regular overhand knot but i'm going to bring that other one along for the ride so i bring it through once bring it through, both of them around through again and see and the and the tippet is going to be pulling through and then you pull the two and that's a surgeon's okay and obviously i haven't pulled it tight because i want to take it apart in a second so that's your two big things, okay? I'm telling you, if you're not changing your flies, uh, you're not catching fish, okay? You may hit a fly that you start catching fish and then go, please stick with that fly. That's the one, you've hit the anti-broccoli fly. But, the, but if you're not catching fish with it, go to something else. Try a streamer, try a nymph. Try another dry fly, try another dry fly color, change the size, you know, try to hone in on what they're doing. If they see your dry fly and they're coming up to it and they're turning away, it's probably too big. Go to a size smaller. Try it again. If they get a little closer, then you know you're getting get a little smaller. Okay, if it's the other way, so you gotta, you know, you gotta be watching, paying attention to what's going on. You can feel it. You can feel the fish hitting your fly. If they're just banging it, it's probably too big go for something smaller sometimes going bigger works too <laughs> so that's that's my thing for today um, you know uh,
take what you want with it. But I would say get some get some thread, some big, you know, this is silk thread. Um, but you can use old fly line, anything. Practice big for a while and then go to the smaller stuff and then uh, just practice, practice, practice. This has to be just like you go, oh boy, I get to change my fly. You have to get to that point. All right, we'll see you.